here is an example of a uh, bridge circuit with this particular configuration I think they call it wheat stone or wheat stone bridge um, but essentially it's um, this particular configuration and so the question here is to find an or equivalent at terminals a b uh, yeah so um, we finding we're trying to find Norton which would be I N N R N and so since this is multiple choice question again finding I N is more challenging than finding the equivalent uh, resistance so we're gonna find R N first and then eliminate answers from there okay so we have a B here so these two the four and the six are in parallel and two and eight are in parallel um, because of this, uh, uh, I mean, the terminal over here. And so to find our n, we have our n is going to be 4 parallel with 6 in series with, so plus 2 and 8. So 2 parallel with 8. And so our n is going to be 24 over 10 plus 16 over 10 and this is our n is um, 40 so that's 4 so as you can see here we already can eliminate how many answers uh, one over here is gone that's gone and that's gone so now our choice is between a and c okay all right, so how do you find I n? What's I n first of all? I n is the current through this particular terminal here. So we're going to imagine that the current will flow through here. So we have I n, let's call it I n. So that's I n over there through that particular um, terminal. And so we have this node here. We have a couple nodes actually. So let's to distribute currents from the voltage source so current will fly here with the flow instead let's call this is current source is so current will flow and then one would go here and another one will flow here let's call this one i1 call this one i3 maybe and then it will separate so one will come here it will go here let's call this I2 and then one is gonna come here and then another one will come here so let's call this I4 if we even need it but I'm just gonna put it back so this this and then you go back to your eyes so the current distribution is correct okay so what's I N by looking at the circuit I N current coming in and out is equal to this out okay so we have I1 is equal to IN plus I2 so IN is I1 minus I2 or vice versa let me see um, I1 um, is equal to so I1 minus I2, yes, I1 minus I2. Right? Okay, so because um, coming in, because you don't want to get the signs incorrect, because I'm working in my head right now, which is not recommended sometimes, especially when you take an exam. So, I n plus I two should give me I one. Okay, just double checking. Just double checking. All right, so I n is equal to I one minus I two. Now we need to find I one and we need to find I two. What's I one? Now I one. This is a parallel circuit here, so I one would would be. We can use current divider. It would be 2 over 4 plus 2 times the total current coming in, the source current, so times IS. Okay, what's I2? I2 
is I2, so that's 8, current divider, over 6 plus 8, that's 14, times IS. So we only have one unknown here. What's IS? So that's how I like to solve problems. I go from one end to another to another so that I don't get confused at all. So I started here and then I'm here. Now what do I don't know is IS. So I'm trying to find IS. What's IS? I is equal to V over R. IS is the total um, current through the entire circuit. So that would be our VS, source voltage, over our total resistance from there, the total one. So the total here would be 4 and 2 would be in parallel, and 6 and 8 would be in parallel. So let's call this RS probably, or you know, total or whatever. So this is 10. Again, I don't know what RS is, but RS is the total um, equivalent resistance. So 4 and 2 are in parallel. Together they will be in series with 6 and 8, which would be in parallel. Alright, so let me write it down. So let's put it underneath here. So RS is 4 parallel with 2, big plus series indicating the series. Okay, series with 6 and 8, parallel with 8, 6, parallel with 8. So RS is t um, 2 times 4 is 8. 4 plus 2 is 6, 6 times 8 is 48, 6 times 6 plus 8 is 14, oh, why did I write 16, 14, sorry, haha, <laughs> alright, so RS is 8 over 6 plus 48 over 14 4.76 so R is 4.76 I can come back here and write it down 4.76 and therefore 2.1 is our current source so this is equal to 2.1 amps so I know my current source, I can come back here and get my I1 and my I2. So my I1 is 2 over 6 times 2.1, 2 over 6 times 2.1.7. Okay, 0.7 amps. And my I2 is 8, eight over 14 times 2.1, 8 over 14 instead of 16, I don't know why I wrote 16, 8 plus 6 is 14, not 16. Alright, so that's, um, I'm glad I caught that though. So I have 1.2 amps. So now I can go back to my previous step and calculate my IN, which is 0.7 minus 0.2. So that's minus 0.5 amps because of a sign somewhere we probably get this is the opposite direction the sign over here since we get it so we know that IN is actually coming in instead of going that way the direction because we have a minus sign here that doesn't mean it's wrong it just means that IN is not going from A to B but it goes from B to A so our answer here is 0.5 and therefore is C is our final answer. That's it. Thank you.